There was a time when it seemed that no one could really rival the iPhone for the perfect smartphone combination of design and functionality. That time has now passed. There are several phones on the market, many of which I've reviewed here at Expanses.com, that can now compete easily with the iPhone uh, platform. And one of them is this, the HTC Desire Z. Um, the concept here is it's a Desire with a fold-out keyboard, and just that folding action, if you can, if you can see that, is, it's so nice. It's just beautiful. The hinges are completely hidden, and whatever the material is here, it's like a, well, it feels like a metal, but it's actually plastic, although there is an aluminium plate on the back. It just feels like a quality operation. This can really be plasticky and horrible, and there can be a lot of wobble in these things. It's not the case here with the Desire Z. It's a, a very solid affair. The keyboard itself features a bunch of, of enhanced smart keys, so you don't have to um, necessarily input everything. You can do little key combos that jump to various sections of the Android 2.2 operating system. Um, camera at the back, uh, five megapixels, uh, LED flash, all that sort of stuff. Uh, flash 10.1, which is really cool. Um, and what we've now grown to expect from HTC uh, Android phones is just a totally fluid interface, easily a match for a, an iPhone experience. I mean, I really like this phone. Not only does it look great, I mean, it really is a delicious piece of design, but it functions like lightning. It, it's so fast and intuitive to use. I, I can't say enough good things about it. Okay, so you know HTC, you probably know the Android 2.2 proposition. Uh, this is its latest iteration, and I've got to say, I really like what I see.